All right, it's here our summer. This busy travel season and traveling during this time can be really frustrating, but it doesn't have to be. Aviation expert Captain Ed White joining us now. Going to share us tips for dealing with these extra challenges. Welcome. Well, I know. thank you. I have a flight this weekend to Philadelphia, so um, I'm a little bit nervous. And uh, I know that the advice is get to the airport early. It but is. even that doesn't help sometimes. We get there and we run into these long, long lines. But you have some suggestions on, on how to get us through those lines. Generally, about two hours is a good rule of thumb. And if you're going to some of the smaller airports, it might be a little bit uh, easier to get through the TSA security line. So, for instance, Burbank or, or Orange County, mm -hmm. uh, uh, John Wayne, Ontario, maybe a little bit easier than going through, uh, let's say, Los Angeles International. So you show up. What do you need? Well, first thing you might want to do is check in with TSA Gov while you're uh, .gov when you're at home. So, mm. check on uh, online, see what is approved to go through the security lines, what you can take, what you can't take, and then with that information, you might think about TSA PreCheck. If you're uh, if you're so inclined, you might go through the process, and uh, with TSA PreCheck, you get a special line that you can go through, which is a little shorter and a little bit easier to go through. And what about once we get to the gate? Is it worth the upgrade? Sometimes they'll offer uh, uh, pre-boarding. Is that worth it? You know, uh, some airlines like Southwest do that, and, and oftentimes I like to do that because I'm, I like to be in the aisle or I like a window seat. I don't like to be crammed in the middle, particularly on long flights. So what I like to do is I will upgrade. If you don't have status, sometimes status bumps you up. But uh, if you're at the airport and it's a $15 upgrade, I think it's, it's well worth it. Okay, we've all, all been in this situation where we're at the gate and all of a sudden it's a 15 minute delay. Hey. Then it's a 30 minute delay. Then it's a two hour delay. At what point do we talk to someone and who do we talk to or do we use our cell phones or laptops to try and rebook and get on another flight before everybody else starts thinking of that? Go to a ticket agent. Go to really? one of the, I, I like to go, if you're already inside uh, of TSA, go to a gate agent and they can assist you. In fact, in my situation last week, I was on the phone and with a gate agent and actually I got because everybody was being canceled and delayed the telephone was uh, you know you were on hold so uh, basically it was a race to who could get me on a flight faster so I found another flight using both the, the gate agent who was really sweet as well as my mobile device once you're on the plane how do you deal with um, passengers who maybe are, are not putting you in a comfortable situation well you know the first thing you can do is talk to them if you can uh, short of that if it gets if it elevates beyond that talk to a flight attendant let them handle the situation today people are you know so stressed out about travel mm -hmm. talk to a flight attendant let them handle it they're the professionals all right all great advice thank you for being here all right for more travel tips from captain ed white just go to kcalmine.com you can click seen on tv